Being a creator is not easy. There's so much boring, repetitive, manual admin work behind the scenes that there's barely any time left for creativity. But what if it doesn't have to be that way? What if we can use AI and automation to start automating the work bit by bit? For example, in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to build an automation flow. So all you have to do is send a voice note and it will automatically create the invoice and send it to the customer. So you never have to spend a single second trying to create an invoice for a brand ever again. So let's build this automation together. So our first step is going to be job form. So job form is like Google form, but but it has a lot more functionality. So we're gonna build a simple job form and in our simple job form, we're just gonna add a voice recorder so we can send our voice note where we're gonna add any detail you want to create the invoice. So that is our first step. This is going to be our trigger for the automation. So every time there's a new form submission, it's gonna trigger the automation flow. So as soon as we have a new job form submission, our second step of the automation is going to be create a transcription. So we're going to use Whisper by OpenAI and use the event create transcription. What this will do is it's going to use OpenAI's Whisper model to take the voice note that we sent to job form and turn that into a transcription so our automation can read what the customer name is, what the services are we're offering, what pricing, etc. When you connect your OpenAI account and you go to the action steps, all you have to do is add your submission form from job form as a file here so it can use that audio file and turn that into a transcription. That's pretty much it. You don't have to change anything else and just test the step to make sure it's working. And then our next step would be to now extract all the data we need for the invoice from that transcription. Again, we're going to be using ChatGPT. So in your action, you search for ChatGPT and then we search for the event extract structured data. This is an important one to so make sure you get this one right. So the action is ChatGPT and our event is extract structured data. And then again, you connect your OpenAI account and in our action here, our unstructured text would just be the transcription and model could be anything you want. I'm using 4.0, which is the most recent one. And in the description, this is where I'm going to write my prompt. So it's a simple prompt. You are a data parser. I'll provide you with my voice notes transcription. Your goal is to extract the relevant information. If the tax is exempted or not and create an invoice. The details we're extracting include customer name, services offered, and cost of the services. Do not provide any explanation. Your output should be precise and organized in the form of a table. Think step by step. Do not make any information up. So this is my simple prompt. And then the values I'm extracting here are customer names, service requested, cost of services. And this is just optional for tax exemption. This is for me to figure out if I need to charge some taxes or not. When you're using extracted structured data step in ChatGPT within Zapier, all you have to do is just let AI know here what exact values you want to extract and maybe define down below what those values mean so AI can automatically figure out what values to extract. Think about this as having a personal assistant or a virtual assistant and you're basically giving them details on what to do and that's where you have to type in and that's how AI is going to interpret those details as your personal assistant. Now we went from you know our voice note where we're sharing the details we want for the invoice to a transcription and from transcription we're extracting the details we need for the invoice. So our next step is to find a customer in QuickBooks. So I'm using QuickBooks because uh, I use QuickBooks for my invoicing, but this could be any invoicing platform or software that you use. An event we're going to use here is find customer. And then if you hit continue, connect your accounting software or your you know invoicing software, we're going to pick the search field we're using to search for the customer. In this case, I'm using name. You could use email. You can use any other descriptor for your customers, whatever you're using in your invoicing or accounting platform. And then the search value here, we're going to be using customer name. So as you remember from last step, we were extracting customer name. So that's exactly what we're using for search value. This automation can automatically connect and talk to my invoicing software and it can use this exact same customer name to make sure that they match and then find the customer. If you don't have a customer yet, you can check this box here, which is for QuickBooks to create a new customer automatically. So again, you know, if you are working with new customers, you can just automatically create new customers. But if you have repeat customers, you can just search for those customers. And our next step is to create the invoice. So again, I'm using creating invoice as my action here. So again, I'm using QuickBooks here. You can use your accounting software. I'm connecting my account and then for action, I'm listing out all the items I need to add to the invoice. So this is where I'm adding the customer name for my extracted data, the services I'm offering, the cost I'm offering them at. So my invoicing software has all the details it needs to create that invoice. And the last step is to create the email. So now here I've connected my Gmail account and I have my action here is to basically just create an email draft. I'm not sending email right away because I just want to have a final check just to make sure everything is accurate before I send it away. So I'm just creating a draft in Gmail. So I can just add whatever subject line I want then here's my body of the message. Hi, customer name. Here's the invoice for the collaboration. And that's a link to the PDF. I'm just sending a note that this is auto generated. So just in case there's any discrepancy, they know that this is not me sending an email. I like to do this for transparency. Just want to let people know if any email is sent from automation so that they're aware that this is automation and not me. That's pretty much it. Now my automation flow is ready. All I have to do is create a new voice note every time I have to send an invoice. And it's going to go through all the steps automatically. And my invoice is ready in my accounting software and in my drafts. So I can just review and send it away. 
way. So if your creator is really struggling to get their time back or hates doing all this work manually, I highly encourage you to try this automation and see for yourself how much time you're gonna save. So when you're trying to build out this automation yourself and you have any questions, please leave a comment and we'll be happy to help. Also leave a comment with what other tasks as a creator you hate doing yourself manually and see if we can figure out an automation flow together to help you automate that as well. I hope this was useful. We'll see you in the future videos.